Um, and in this particular method, we're using knitting backwards rather than doing a purl row. So the first step in making the bobble is to knit into the stitch on the left-hand needle, pull it through, but you leave the loop on the left needle. We do a yarn over, knit into it again. So now we're at three, then we yarn over again, that makes four, and then finally we knit into the loop the third time, and this time we slip it off. Now we are going to, rather than purling back, which you can certainly do, you turn your work and you purl those five stitches back, we're going to knit backwards instead. So we take the left hand needle and we insert it behind the right hand needle, wrap the yarn around, with the right needle we pull that loop up and over. One stitch knitted backwards, there's the se second stitch, again we insert the left needle behind the right needle, wrap it around over the top, take the right needle, pull the loop over, and here we are on the last stitch again, insert it behind, wrap it around, take the right hand needle to pull the loop up and over. Five stitches that would have been purled are instead knit backwards. The last step in the bobble is to knit the first two stitches together, place that back on the left needle, and then we pass the other three stitches over the knit two together stitch. Once they're all over, we slip that loop back to the right needle. Bobble is made. So just a little tip of knitting backwards rather than purling to prevent lots of flipping back and forth while you're making your bobbles. Thanks for watching.